Today I'm gonna make a summer orzo pasta that is amazing. It is loaded full of healthy vegetables. It's so delicious. You could easily substitute the orzo for a gluten-free penne. And I just don't make it for summer. I make it throughout the year because it is that good. Without further ado, let's make some delicious summer orzo pasta salad. Start by bringing a pot of water to boil. Next, we're going to salt the water to add flavor to the pasta. Follow the directions on the box and cook until al dente. We're gonna start by adding half of a cucumber. I like to slice it lengthwise and then slice it into cubes. We're gonna do the exact same thing with half of a bell pepper and you can use any color bell pepper. I just happen to have green on hand. And we're gonna add that to the bowl. We're going to dice a white onion and I like to take my knife and run it a couple times over. We're gonna add one bunch of basil and chop it up. Then we're gonna take one large handful of parsley and dill, and we're going to mince that up as well and add that to the bowl. Next, I like to take a clove of garlic, lay the garlic clove flat on the chopping board, smash it with the top of the knife. This helps mince it so much easier. And then I'm just gonna take my knife and run it across and mince it really fine. Drain our pasta and add it to the bowl. The heat from the pasta is actually going to cook some of the garlic as well. Then we're gonna slice our spinach and toss. The heat from the pasta is also going to cook down the spinach. Then we're going to just roughly chop some Kalamata olives and add that to our pasta salad. And then we're going to crumble in some feta. You can easily crumble by hand or a faster trick that I learned is to actually just chop it up with a knife. This saves a lot of time rather than crumbling an entire block by hand. So we're gonna add that to the pasta salad. And then we're going to drizzle heavily with some extra virgin olive oil and give it all a toss. I'm gonna add a little bit more extra virgin olive oil and then I'm going to add some salt to taste. Add your pasta salad to a serving dish. Slice some beautiful cherry tomatoes in half. We're going to add the cherry tomatoes to the top of the pasta, and then I'm going to take a little bit of basil and garnish. Not only does this add more flavor, but it also makes this dish look absolutely beautiful. And then that is how simple it is to make this delicious summer orzo pasta salad. Stop eating this so I can tell you how good it is. This tastes like summer. All of the fresh vegetables and herbs, and then I just love how it complements the salty feta and the salty Kalamata olives. It is so good. By taking that warm orzo pasta and adding the feta to it, it just kind of makes it almost like a creamy, a creamy orzo. It is so delicious. You guys, you just have to try this. I've done this so many times too where I've substituted some grain-free pasta options and it tastes just as delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this recipe, you know what to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. That way I know what kind of recipe and content you guys like. Do not forget to subscribe. I make new recipes every single week and I love sharing some fresh food to your table. Thank you guys again and I will see you next week and in the next video. Bye.